Hi there, signs of Leo. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really good. Let's pull um, from the Surrealist Tarot for you. It's pulling from the Surrealist Tarot. So as always, um, well, thanks for being here, but we're going to invite your spirit guides and your angels to join us. So we get messages. It's for the most high, your most high. So, messages for Leo using Surrealist Tarot. Okay, Leo. Hey, I have the tower in reverse. Wow, what are you rebuilding? This is nice. Oh wow, good news, okay. Good news when it comes to healing a situation or mending something, right? Let's see, let's go to Osho Zen Tarot and let's go ahead and pull some extra cards. I mean, this chariot energy is looking like the Wheel of Fortune in this deck. This is Surrealist Tarot. I'm using Osho Zen Tarot also to clarify now. But, um, so this is usually like your vehicle to success. It's more about the journey getting there and it's about being balanced. The King of Wands in the reverse as the challenge. Okay, moving forward and gaining momentum past something that maybe didn't work, possibly. that, And it, it might be about getting just past yourself. That might be a challenging situation, too. I mean, maybe that's saying, like, who, like, who are you? Identity and things like that. So the Six of Wands in the reverse is past energy. Let's see what that's about. I have the wheel. Look at there's that wheel of fortune. Okay, but it's in the reverse in the past. So look, I think that there's some kind of like unwanted recognition here with this six of wands in the reverse. And I think the wheel of fortune in reverse with it is just, it's saying, you know, it's all about your perspective and how you look at things. Um, what didn't work is okay um, because it's past, right? And we're moving forward with a victory. We also have the Five of Wands is in the reverse. So the Five of Wands being in the reverse is like at the heart of the matter of this whole reading. You just don't want any um, games, right? Just don't want any games or foolery, especially if it's games of the heart with the Two of Cups in the reverse. So you're not into playing games, but you are into going forward with this success. And this is nice. So the moon in reverse and judgment together, both major arcanas, both are representing really what's in the present moment or in the environment. So all that is not clear, all that is not clear to you or for you is because you have to go inside and find the opportunity. So if we're looking outside ourselves for the opportunity, I feel like that's what this card's representing here, is um, trying to find any anything that you're trying to find when you're looking for it outside of yourself first. Um, so what you seek, you find inside yourself first, is really what I'm trying to say, but I know that's a quote of some sort. Um, So let's see, let's see some more. What else about this moon in reverse? What else? It feels like um, it's more also about mastering the energy of the divine feminine. And um, this moon energy for you is really subtle. Um, but it is something that you're really good at. Look, it's something you're really good at. Here, Leo. So it is the puzzle piece. 
The puzzle piece that's missing, your energy from a situation, your whole energy, your intuition, your um, skills, your talents. It's waiting on you for a new beginning or this new opportunity. The Seven of Pentacles is how you are feeling. You're dealing with probably a lot of cause and effect things at this time with the Seven of Pentacles being how you feel from your point of view that would be like a patient having patience with yourself it might be regarding healing some um health concerns or issues it really might be about that so what is the future energy for us with the page of pentacle in the reverse what is that about page of pentacle energy in the reverse Okay, so this is about, nice, okay, letting go with, with judgment in the reverse on the bottom too. It is, I'm going to put all this together as saying that you get in touch with who you really are with the high priestess energy upright. So that's, di that's different. So I feel like you're more in tune with who you are here in this future energy because, well, you've either learned from something or you're moving towards a new adventure. And this one involves no games and listening to yourself. So if you're thinking about anything, you should be thinking about the partnership with yourself and your higher self, this Two of Cups energy. So you have a lot of fixed signs too here in this reading in general, um, plus Cancer. So Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Tell me more about um, choosing, something about your choice, about choosing. And it might be talking about eating the right things because it looks like a cauliflower for this person's head. <laughs> the surrealist tarot. God, I love it. It's a realist tarot. So maybe it has a lot to do with what you're eating and how healthy the things are that you're eating. There you go. It's also about slowly but surely progress, slow but sure progress. Um, dependable, but taking one's time because there was a lot to maybe fix or there was a lot to overcome. So that might be like challenges, might be health challenges, might be money challenges, whatever it is. Um, it is slow but steady and it is success though. So tell me more about... I think the advice I was wanting to give for Leos would be that you're thinking about the Two of Cups. This should be about advice to focus on yourself and your higher self so that you can be, you know, the best for everybody around you. So I think that that is wise decisions and that's being pointed out. I don't like that card doing that. Let's see. So the Four of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Wands. A much needed healing is coming, maybe in the form of some kind of communication. Oh, there you go. We have the Seven of Swords. Some kind of politicking. That's how I look at this card. <laughs> I look at this card as politics and tactics. And um, I don't know. I think I just do because Osho Zen has a way of their characters on their cards. So... It's a snake holding a mask, and then someone behind that. So, I don't know what this means to you, but sometimes this is about having to see through some kind of tactics or deception. Um, it could be about healing a situation um, that involves policy, <laughs> that involves something political. I don't know. Or scandal, or scandal, healing a scandal. Scandalous. Um, Page of Wands energy, the Ten of Pentacle energy in the reverse, and you have the Moon energy again. Oh, but this time it's upright. So this is fixing a long-standing family issue or maybe even past life issue. Here's that news. Two cards that indicate good news. A completion coming, a new chapter coming, um, and this is like mending karmic ties it feels like that and it feels like the news is really good for you here so this is a good reading here for you leos let's just go ahead and pull um 
some Oracle, and then we'll wrap up your reading. And again, thanks for joining me. 99 Royal Plumes. Is it possible? 99. I am courageous. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life, that you have a higher purpose than uh, whatever it is that you're doing now because you're always actually still part of that higher purpose even now. You know, you're always on it. Um, 28, I am a leader in an effort to accomplish great things. You recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable, compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. I am a leader. It has number 28 there. Then I have 1010, 555, and 666. So 1010 is about patience, divine timing, which is that's what you've got on your side right now. So keeping your thoughts positive while everything's working out is really extremely important for you. Also, 555 is an optimistic major shift coming in. 666 just is a call for you to remain centered and balanced. Um, it's that love and harmony frequency, right? So, other than that, we'll pull Oracle of Genetic Gifts too, and then we'll wrap up this reading. Lovely reading. Okay, I have Clear Gustance, Clear Tasting, and Angel Numbers, sequences of numbers that carry divine guidance. Something about that and the number, either number 5 or 55 too. Alright, and that's what I've got for you. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.